Hello everybody and welcome back to another episode of The Streak. We are jumping in again and this time who are we going to go as? Obviously we've got these new characters in the mix. We've got Delirium could be a fun one. we got Henry. I think we'll do Henry. Henry's an interesting character that's generally reasonably powerful. Um, apparently there's some errors with the Jerb mod pack in here. Oh my lord. What happened Jerb? <laughs> Something happened and it's wrong. Okay, um, not quite sure what's going on here. Um, one moment. One moment indeed. Okay, I have no idea what that's caused by or why that happened. But anyways, we're playing as Henry here. He's a pretty regular character, but he can do some interesting stuff with flies and stuff taking over his, um... Taking over his tier effects, which can get pretty wacky. I think it's familiars take over our tier effects, actually, if I remember correctly. But as you can see, we also have the rare poop shot, which will turn enemies into poops. And obviously, we can walk into flies, as we just saw there. Black flies, you can walk into them to turn them into our flies. It's it's pretty interesting. He's a good character. He's a lot of fun. He's definitely one of those ones that's like on the side of pretty easy. Uh, overall, I'm not going to say super easy, because you know what's going to happen. I'm going to die. Um, but... I hope you guys didn't miss me too much yesterday. I took my first day off Isaac since I started uploading it. Literally the only day that I've ever missed on purpose. I've had a few misses accidentally, where, where like YouTubers just being like, lol, what if I just didn't upload today? Uh, but other than that, I've never consciously tried to not upload apart from Christmas Day. Christmas Day is the only day I don't normally upload. Um, and yeah, so this is like a first for me in a while. And I hope you guys were, were okay with it. I hope you guys didn't feel too left out. Of course, there was still a Nuclear Throne video, but I'm hoping that keep, um, lowering the amount I record Isaac will keep it fresh for me for longer, uh, and also it should actually potentially increase the views on the episodes because people aren't having to keep up with every episode and it's a little more reasonable, so it might be something that people want to do a bit more. Good old few dips there. We'd like a bomb because it's a tinted rock back that way. Try and get these guys to jump through our dips, because the dips do do a good amount of damage. I just said doo-doo. It's quite fitting for this character. But man, today, I've had some massive, massive acid reflux. It's really not good. I had a tuna bagel, and apparently, like, yeah, don't, don't eat a tuna bagel and then go running later that day. Didn't realize it would cause me such issues, but... It really has. It was like hours after as well. Oh, Extinction Event's pretty fun. Yeah, it was like hours afterwards as well. It wasn't like straight away. Um, and yeah, it's just been playing havoc on me. Absolutely playing havoc on me. Okay, there's a lot going on here. <laughs> there's a, a lot of poops doing their thing. We've managed to gather a good few friends. Extinction Event's doing its thing. It's hitting, it's hitting hard. And we've got all these different dips and some spider ones as well that... Unsure exactly what they're achieving, but we'll keep them around because they're fun little fellas. Um, we're going to get damage. Very nice. Very, very nice. And we did get a bomb, so let's go back and find that tinted rock. But yeah, as for the question of the day today, what's something you've given up recently? What's something you've given up? That'd be interesting to know. Whereabouts was the... Um, where else was it? Oh, there it was. We have keys. If it gives a golden chest, we can still grab it. Luckily, it didn't. We are doing streaking here, so I will min-max a little bit and do some of these extra rooms. Uh, I do want to just click the random button, by the way. Uh, I'd, I'd like to just, on the character select, just click the random button. But there's a few characters that just, like, I can't possibly get. Like, if I get, like, Tainted Fiend, what, what, just everything's screwed. Because Tainted Fiend is, like, super laggy and broken. Um, so there's, there's a few characters that we can't just, like, take, like, normal. Should probably try and look for secret room here as well, uh, potentially. Oop, actually, no. Scratch that. Another thing to drop calls my name. There's a penny behind you. And I'll take this pill, why not? Eh, shot speed down's not a bad thing, really. It's not a good thing, but it's not really a bad thing. Okay. Let's keep it going. But yeah, I'm hoping it keeps it more fresh for me. Um, and I can have more fun with the game, which I definitely think I will be able to. Um, and yeah, I think I think just to keep my sanity as well, I'm not going to do only modded characters for the streak. I'm just going to try and do more modded characters. Maybe I'll do like 
modded vanilla, modded vanilla sort of thing. I don't know, something along those lines. That's a pretty good grab right there as well. Health-wise, things are looking very good for good old Henry here. Ooh, that is also very, very nice for us. I was not expecting a free secret room opening. It's such an early opportunity, but we like to see it. We like to see it. But yeah, I, I, as I said, I went I went running early for the first time in a little while. I wanted to get back into running for a bit. My knees been messed up, but I was able to go uh, running again earlier today, and it wasn't too bad for me. Um, but it has unfortunately ticked over to that time of year where um, the geese start to have their babies, which is cute, but also not so fun because um, they are... Uh, they do not like you walking past them at all, and they kind of block up the whole path. So I had to wait like 20 minutes for geese to get out the way so that I could get by. Because I go down by like a canal area and it's pretty thin. And yeah, <laughs> not ideal at all. Not ideal at all. It was kind of annoying. Right, extinction event on this guy. I'm going to keep my bomb here. I was tempted to use it for combat, but I'm going to keep it. Ha! My poop blocked a lot of your shots there. That was a really bad hit by me there. Ugh. These buzzers. Oh, damn. If you want to just, like, hibbity-hop your way into my heart. There you go. Really? You still hit me there? Could you not? Good sir. Lost more health in there than I should have. Two whole hearts, which I'm, yeah, not particularly happy with. We get one back here. Do you know what? I'm going to go Devil Deal here and see what we get going on. We've got Slick Spade, which we know to be good. And we've got Lilith here, which is interesting. Let's see what Lilith does. Get rid of these fires first. Okay. Summon a random demon familiar every seven to eight rooms. Spawn familiars will be removed on the next floor. Um, possible familiar demons. Oh, that's, that seems pretty good. I think we're going to go for that. Um, and it's, it's mighty risky, but I'm going to take Slick Spade as well, to be honest. Uh, let's go and try and find the shop and stuff. I know that this is pretty goddamn risky here, um, especially considering the health that I just lost. But when we're, when we're early on in a streak, I think it's more fun to just kind of take those risks and potentially gamble on, on getting some good stuff early and putting a good run together. Oh, I didn't... I don't know why I just didn't expect him to do that at all. Wasn't something that I was planning on, and it's a little annoying that he did that, but... Hey, her, he has free will. He's allowed to do what he, he can. Although he doesn't really have free will, because he's a pre-programmed enemy, but... As free as it can be within a game. Oh, I do not like this situation. Yeah, that this, this room's kind of horrible. Take out small sections at a time. Managed to plant down a red poop there. It was mainly this champion that, that spooked me there, because full heart damage right now seems uh, seems like it would be a tragedy. But we made it through. We made it through. Yeah, Slick Spade's going to afford us some extra pennies and things like that, and it can give us some red hearts, and it's just very good. And it can apply charm and fear, all sorts of good stuff. These guys are really annoying. They kind of walk away from you. Also, this guy being a champion. Annoying, too. These guys kind of walk away from you. It makes them a little difficult. Item room is going to afford us good old heal spur and that as well. Oh, my lord. Okay. Well, this is this has been lucrative here, hasn't it? We just gained a bloody boatload of damage. Very much like that. Unfortunately, no soul heart in the shop. Bit of a waste of a key there, but I think it's okay. We can head on back. Do not touch that. Losing my burn heart there would be uh, a travesty beyond my comprehension. Let's uh, move it on there. And yeah, I think after this, I'm going to record some Slay the Spire. Um, I'm uh, very interested in starting up Slay the Spire. I have a feeling it's not going to do very well on the channel. I, I don't know why, but I just have a, I have a feeling... But I'm going to give it a go anyways. I think this phase of, of me playing other games is all about um, all about just trying some other stuff with my channel and seeing what we can, we can make work. And I think that going for something like Slay the Spire, even though it's an old game, there's a little bit more hype around it with uh, the announcement of Slay the Spire 2. So I think there's plausibility that it'll do well and we'll just kind of have to have to roll the dice and see. Become my dippy dippies. 
Hey, we managed to get a golden poop there. Love that. Wasn't expecting it, but we like it. We like it. I will crack this open, considering. Oh, there was a turkin in there, and I picked it up straight away by accident. Little bit of a waste there, because we only got money from it. Little bit of a waste. Could have gotten extra HP or any other number of beautiful things from, from that, but... Oh, well. I think we're in a good spot right now. Oh, we got Incubus this floor. Lovely stuff. So I think we keep him for the rest of the floor now, don't we? Yes, we do. That's very, very nice. Oh, wow. There are some shenanigans going on right now with these uh, extinction event shots. We got it? We good? I think we are good. Okay. Lots to take in there. We've managed to get a fly friend with us as well, which uh, we'll see if he ends up being good. Okay, nope. He just died to a troll bomb by the looks of it there. Not what, not not the hopes and aspirations I had for him. But you do you, pal. You do you. Um, and then in here, we've got ooh, a magician card that I think got bombed out of that little area there. Scapula? Obviously not the best, but it is useful, I think. Um... Okay, so it's, it's conditional, which makes it not great, but that condition will save our life, so in that regard, pretty good stuff. Can you stop firing bubbles and let me hit you? Thank you. Goddamn, buddy. Oh, I don't know why I... Okay. Come on now. Well, that's very good. And that's nice as well. Okay. Are we ready to get in here? I don't know if Extinction Event takes on that Herming, but I think it does. Okay. This guy's a bit of a nuisance, but we're getting the hang of him. This guy's still new to me. I still don't really remember how his attacks work. But he's not ridiculously hard. It's just there's more creep. There's more movement involved. We'll take you on board. Why not? I'll check this out. That's kind of what I was hoping for. Remember, this guy doesn't brimstone. He just fires a boatload of shots. Don't know how I managed to get away from that, to be honest. Okay, freezing there. Very nice. And a golden poop to boot. And on top of that, we get a lump of coal. Beautiful stuff. What does this chalk do again? When entering a room, you will leave a trail of powder. Enemies that walk on the powder will be significantly slowed. Yeah, seems decent. Right, is there anything else we can get from this floor, really? I don't think so, so I think I'm just going to go down. I think I'm just going to go down. Cast the blind. Hello, good sir. I'm not interested in you at this at this uh, junction, but it's good to know you exist. So yeah, if, if anyone walks on that powder, they'll they'll basically be frozen. And that powder lasts a little while here. It seems, that seems pretty good. I mean... It's going to be a little hard for me to remember it exists and kind of use it as there uh, properly. But when I do, as you can see, that was a really bad hit there. Pretty good stuff. Pretty good stuff. What we're going on in the good old... Ooh, Delirium Beggar. Requires coins can summon a charmed monster encounter on the current floor or can drop a Delirious pickup. Beggar leaves after summoning a random Delirious boss. If you kill boss... If you, if killed, drop, I'm, I'm interested in this. I'm going to play you and see what we get, because I'm interested. Just some charmed spiders at the moment. Nothing crazy. And a fly. I'm going to drop bank on this guy. We got a delirious card, I don't know what that does. We'll find out. The card became a key. Apparently I can only have so many... Okay. Delirious Bomb. Spawns a bomb with random effects. While in the room, can randomly switch between Delirious Pickup. When used, there's a 33% chance to not be consumed, but switching its effect. You can only hold one Delirious Pickup at a time. 
That's just a fool card. Very confused by this. Well, he was useless. Right. What the fuck am I doing with this thing? Spawns a bomb with random effects. While in a room, can randomly switch between delirious pickups when used. There's a chance of not being consumed. It changed to something else. Now it's a pill. Fuck it, let's just go into a room and use it and see what happens. We got a health down. Which didn't seem to give us any health down. Which is nice. Okay, now we got a Delirious card. That. I was going to say that was really good. It just dropped all the stuff we had. That wasn't very good at all. But it did rearrange our, our uh, Burn Heart and Soul Heart placement, which I'm actually quite grateful for. So that's not too bad. This is too much creep game. Thank you, Chalk, for saving my life there. Holy fuck. Good bomb, good sir. Right. Gimme, gimme. Nice and easy. Give me a rotten heart, why not? Hey, we got this guy now. And get some of that shot speed back, why not? Two items to choose from. I have chosen poorly. Bit annoying to get an active item there, but hey her. Oh god, wasn't expecting them to do that. Ah, <sighs> not ideal, not ideal. I spent all my money on the delirium guy trying to figure him out. Wasn't super worthwhile. Wasn't super worthwhile, I've got to say. Okay. Boss time. Don't think the chalk does anything to you, does it, unfortunately? Nah. But, goddamn. Extinction event kind of pummels your ass. Um, Away we go once again. Should probably look for secret room on that floor, but... I was already too far gone. Okay, so decay here. Charm, that's kind of a nice. Actually, could be really useful for us, yeah. Killed himself and did a bit of damage in the process. What a trooper. Well, it would be nice to have extinction about this room. Probably shouldn't pop the bags open while, uh, one second. Big sneeze. Um, probably shouldn't pop those bags open while I'm in the actual combat room, because it's just going to make like, my life more hellish. What, what are you feared from? Get, get back here, boy. Right, now I can destroy all these bags. In fact, I'm actually going to do this just to speed things up a little bit, because otherwise it's going to be a while. It's going to be a long project, potentially. You can get a good amount of stuff out of these bags, so it's worth destroying them. We've got half a soul heart already, which is not bad. Yeah, I do like Extinction Event for just blowing up rocks and stuff when you don't have the bombs. Ooh, we got another new beggar. Requires hearts, can reward pills, hearts, or troll bombs. Legger, beggar leaves by spawning a cursed pool item if bombs drops hearts. Well, we don't really have hearts to give you, Monsieur. We only have a few random red hearts, but I can be tempted if I uh, get some more stuff. I don't know, I don't know like where that guy's coming from. I, I did... Um, do something with, like, the unlock command, this one, the other day. So I'm, I'm guessing I've just got more stuff unlocked now properly. I'm guessing it got fixed or works or something. Um, and that's what that's where, like, we're seeing new stuff from. Or it could just be that I got unlucky the last few runs and haven't seen anything yet and they were unlocked the whole time. I don't know. Um, I, to be fair, though, with our, with our little Chad here, we might get enough red hearts to actually play into that gimpy beggar and get an item out of him. That would be, uh, that'd be really, really nice. Ooh, what's this? 
Um, it's an active item, so I won't take it. I think Infestation 2 is a bit more on brand for this character anyhow. Um, ooh, hello. I'll leave that there for now in case we decide to play the Gimpy Beggar a bit. Only problem is the Gimpy Beggar. I'm going to have to be running back and forth a whole, a whole hell of a lot, and I don't know if I can really be bothered. <laughs> like, truly, can I be asked? That is the question of the day. Truly, I'm thinking I probably can't. Ooh, a black heart. Nice. Ooh, getting hit straight away as soon as I pick it up. Not nice. That was unfathomably stupid. Right. Still, we've got a few hearts dotted around. There's probably a good room for this. It's just good for, like, getting rocks out of the way and stuff. Honestly, the damage it does is nice, but... The effectiveness of just deleting rocks to, to, to make our life simpler is, is nice, too. A big reason I like Extinction Event. Yeah, I gotta say, we should we should have enough to get a Gimpy pair out here. We have Red Hearts galore. It's just gonna be a lot of back and forth is all, which is gonna be kind of boring to watch. But we'll keep it lively with beautiful commentary, of course. Um, boss we can go for straight away here. Extinction event is ready. Oh, wow. That was a, a good shot, my sir. That was a good shot. Well, I've got all of this, uh, this chalk here that I don't think you can walk over, so... That makes our life easier in that respect. Right. Gimpaloni. Uh, gimp, 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 gimpy boy. We have plenty of hearts for you to receive. It's just gonna take... Some, some sweet-ass time. Especially with this low speed. Had a feeling you wouldn't pay out straight away there. He's just going to pay out with a troll bomb and kill himself. I can see it now. I can see it now. It's the obvious thing to happen. Therefore, we know it's going to happen. I kind of I really like this Lilith familiar. It's kind of like having Cambion Conception as a familiar. Well, you don't have to get hit, it's just like by completing rooms. I like that idea. One payout. That's a pill. Not a bad pill either. Right, we got a full heart in this room over to the right here. Thank God we have minimap API that's actually useful for telling you where stuff is. The default uh, minimap in the game is not very good. The minimap API one is, is much, much better. The Gimpy Mask dude has a kind of weird map icon. I can sort of tell it's a Gimpy thing knowing what it is. It's, it's, it's somewhat hard to tell. Another pill. My lord, boy. What have you given me thus far? A Tears Down. You gave me a Tears Down when I specifically asked you not to. I didn't specifically ask him not to, but in my head I did. In my head, I was like, don't let this be a tears down. I just didn't want to say it, because I didn't want to jinx it. And then it ended up being one anyways. Right, this is the last... This is your last hurrah, big boy. So pay out with an item, or pay out with a tears up pill. Otherwise, there's going to be hell to pay. And by that, I mean I'm going to bomb you. That's just a shot speed down. God damn it, how dare you. He drops a good amount of hearts, though. Still, a little disappointed with that little old freak. By freak, I mean it's a baby in a gimpy's mask. I think anyone would agree that that's pretty freaky. Um, yeah, I guess we keep moving on. Secret room, I don't actually know again on this floor. I'm not super convinced. One second. Right. Let's get going to the next floor, because this one clearly has not much for us. Like I said, I could probably find secret rooms and stuff, but... I don't know. I'm not I'm not exactly tuned in today, so I don't know where they are. <laughs> Sometimes I have this sort of like second sort of sense for exactly where they are. Today it's just not coming to me. I just don't I just don't know. Just grab that, why not? Don't need it, but it's just kinda nice to have. There's certain areas I can use it where it'll be useful. Doot, 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 doot. Ooh, that's a lot of uh, that's a lot of batteries. Not that I uh, really need them, but okay.
Oh, thank God that wasn't the guy that does the split into six shots. My rainbow baby. Rainbow poopy. He die. He sacrificed himself for us. Okay, this looks secret roomy to me. Yeah, there you go. I'm getting it back, people. I'm getting it back. I'm loving having an infestation 2 right now. That's uh, it's pretty top tier. Tinted rock there. And I think we'd probably rather go for the money rate. But this, this puts our health in a way, way better spot than it's been for the past few floors. In fact, so much so that I'm going to use our full card here um, to get into here. Yeah, that was pretty goddamn good. Yeah, I think the full card there, absolutely worthwhile usage of it. We do have some sacrificial blood from Slick Spade, but doesn't do a whole lot for us. Haha, <laughs> I love turning anything to poop. It is my favourite thing. Ooh, this is an annoying room. Luckily one of them's dead straight away, but I don't know where the other one's going to pop up. Okay. Yeah. Not as bad as I would have thought. Item room or item room. Please don't be a goddamn active item. And we have a choice of two, so... And it's not Curse of the Blind, so we should be okay. Last time we got Curse of the Blind was a little unlucky. It so, always sucks when you have the ability to... Like, items that give you the ability to choose between um, more than one item. And it's like, yeah, Curse of the Blind. Do you know that unique ability that you managed to grab? Well, I'm going to completely negate it. Well, screw you, game. I completely negate your life. Do need another damage up as well soon. Um, our damage right now is pretty good, but one more damage up would go a long way right now. Oh god, I didn't realize you were going to jump there. That was weird. It was not, did not look like where you were jumping to. That's pretty good. We'll take that. And... Good old health up there as well is completely random, but very nice to see. Item room, we have still yet to see. There's nothing at the end of here, this hallway, no. Still going to keep my chalk, to be honest. It seems really good. Essentially, you can form a little safe zone by the door to any room that you enter. Basically, you could just do this and create like a little sort of circle barrier. And anything that doesn't fly is going to have a really hard time getting to you. It's not always useful, but it can be. Okay, here's our boss. Kind of had a feeling that'd be boss. Okay. Item room is on one of these two offshoots. Ooh, I also see the Tinted Rock there. Getting pretty lucky with Tinted Rocks this run. We've had quite a few of them, and we've spotted, I think, all of them. Although, you can never really know if you've spotted all of them. But, I think I have. I, uh, I dare someone to point out one that I missed. I dare you to. Can't be done. Here's where you all make me look like a fool. Rotten Heart there is kind of nice. We'll take that. Right. Oh, no. Not ideal. I'll take the football. Because it's it's a, it's slightly less... It's, it's a bit annoying, but it's slightly less bad than constant bombs. But neither of those are very good. The football is kind of a meme item. It doesn't really do a lot. It can. It can be pretty powerful. It often isn't. <laughs> like I said, it's kind of a meme item. Oh, another tinted rock. Gave us two. One second. Sorry, I could have sworn I heard the door knock then, but apparently it did not. It must have been the upstairs neighbours stomping their feet or something. As they do tend to do. They like to be some of the loudest humans ever to ever exist. It's so funny how, like... That stereotype of, like, your upstairs neighbours being, like, super loud and up until, like, 4am. It's, like, one of those things, but it, 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 it happens every time. Like, everyone's upstairs neighbours are awful, which might mean that we're awful to people below us. I don't know, but goddamn, ours are just the worst. Like, I, I think they have kids, so it's, it's kind of, like, acceptable in that regard. Like, I obviously, kids are loud, you can't do much about that, I don't really care. But goddamn, some like, sometimes like 4am and they're stomping. We'll go negative this time around because I kind of want the damage. And this is going to be very nice for us. So I will be taking that, thank you. Let's go. Let's go, Henry. Let's go. 
Yeah, the extra damage we just got there. Oh. Okay. He kind of telefragged me a little bit there. Ooh, hello, good sir. Would you like to play a game? No. You'd like to give me melatonin. <laughs> no gaming for me, apparently. Just melatonin. Yeah, basically the football bounce directly into enemies, and if it can do, the more bounces it does, the more damage it'll do. It can be, like I said, it can be pretty good. If it gets like four or five bounces going, it gets, uh, it gets pretty insane. You need to get it like into the back, sort of back end of a group of enemies, that's where it really shines. Lovely stuff. Tears down there. Random pill, which I was hoping would be a tears up, it was not. Ow. Oh, dude, the the goddamn babies, man. I couldn't heck and see them. They were in the trees, man. Oh, dude, this acid reflux is really bad. I've never, I don't think I've ever had, like, acid reflux properly before. This is awful. My stomach just feels like, I don't know, wrong. <laughs> it don't feel right. But I know it's not serious. I can tell it's acid reflux. I've had it before. I just don't get it very often. And it's just, yeah, it's just not... Not comfortable. If not, no tuna was a was a, a top causer. I've eaten tuna like so many times. I just guess I haven't eaten tuna and then ran before. But it was so many hours afterwards, though. Goddamn game. Uh, I was gonna say goddamn game. I'm still gonna blame Isaac. Fuck it. Why not? It's, I it's Isaac's fault. What's going on? I, I seem I seemingly just keep taking damage to stuff that I can't see. What what happened there? I've lost so much HP and I have no idea why. Like, that enemy was invulnerable there, but there was no other enemy in the room that I could see, so I don't really know why it was invulnerable. The confusion in my soul is heavy. What does this do? Lose all of your keys? Uh, no. I don't like those ones. I never want to... I, I don't care if I've got, like, 99. I never want to lose all of my keys. Don't think it's worth it. Right. Nice if we had a uh, dark bum in the mix here, because we're getting a lot of red hearts that we're not using, really. It would be nice to get some use out of those. I do wonder with Extinction Event in a room with a lot of rocks with this curse, if it could be pretty lucrative to just sit around and wait for tinted rocks to get hit. This is a thi oh, there's a spiked rock there. God damn it! This game's brutal to me. I think I need a small room for it. Really, it's it's taking too long in a large room. There's not enough rock density. Oh god, I'm just I'm not very happy with how I've played here. But this is this is another reason why Isaac's definitely. Uh, in need of a break. I'm just playing worse and worse over the last few weeks. On the streak, I was shit hot. Literally, the moment the streak died, I think all my confidence just, like, went out the window with it. Because I just can't play very well anymore at all. It's alright, though. We can make it work. We can make it work. Right, luckily, as I said before, Extinction Event is doing a, a mighty fine job of taking out everything, pretty much. We don't have to really worry about that. That's nice. Also, this arrow gives just obscene knockback as well for some reason, even though it doesn't say that in the description. It, it makes your knockback go absolutely wild. Now, we like a wound floor where there's only one wrong way. We can get down. You see what I mean by the knockback? Guy just absolutely zooped. Lovely stuff. Come on, more heart drops, please. Where's all those tinted rocks that I was getting before? How about we do a, a rehash of, of that idea? That was that was rather nice for us. Oh, Bastard. 
Very silly of me. Will the football be good here? No. I, I was thought maybe if it would get into the middle and bounce between them all. Isn't how it works. Oh god, what have I done here? I've like placed that guy on a on a piece of poop. My health isn't that bad at the moment. It's not ideal, but it's not that bad. Good, good. Oh! What hit me? I killed him? Did he have a fly around him or something that hit me? I, uh, I'm seriously confused. <laughs> One day I will understand the mysteries of what the hell Isaac does to me on a daily basis. I just, yeah, I just don't want to be, like, raging at Isaac all the time, and I felt like I was getting there. They're just left... Some people really like him, but the vast majority of people, it's not as enjoyable to watch, and it's not as enjoyable for me to play, so... I didn't want to be raging all the time. And when you have runs like this, where you just seem to be randomly playing like crap, it leads to a lot of rage. If it's happening all the time, sort of thing, so... I want you to slow that down a bit. Can this football get out my goddamn hands, please? G go away. I don't want to touch your football. You ain't part of my plan. Little Steven, bring him along for the ride. Why not? He just chilling. Okay, There's not much point using Extinction Event on just two enemies. I like the fact that our buddy in a box has the big hand, the little horn hand com coming out of it. Ah, oh, yes! I was like, please come on, let me bomb him. Worked perfectly. Not doing as much damage as I want to hurt still. Damage is still a little lacklustre. It's not bad, it's not bad. Still just not quite what it needs to be though. Okay. Extinction event, go. Oh, I've stood in a very, yeah, I stood in a very poor place there. Unfortunately, I don't think my chalk is going to do much for me here. That can cause me problems. We're on to the last phase already, though. That's pretty decent. Fucking, this football always finds its way back into my goddamn hands. Just stay on the floor. One day you will learn. Okay, down we go. I'm not super, super hopeful right now that this will be a success. We shall see if it, if it is or isn't. I like instantly killing stuff, though. Okay, got hit by the cross-eyed fellas. We like that. A little black heart there. Cheeky. Gigabomb. Cheeky. Yeah, the chalk will stop you. The chalk will hopefully stop all. I thought that, um, what's it called? Star of the Bottomless Pit would be, like, kind of a saving grace here and be kind of crazy for us, but it's not really been that, has it? There's another bit of a heart as well, lovely. Oh god, he tried to explode on me there, didn't let it happen. You're just gonna keep doing that, are you? Oh, you stay stunned for a little while after you do that, I see. Okay, hoping we're going the right way here. Could start bombing stuff, but I want to keep my Giga Bomb at this point. Okay, I didn't know he did that. Well, no, I did. I just didn't see it coming. I just didn't see it coming. Little Chad, can you just, like, just drop some fucking soul hearts for me, please? Oh, shit. I thought we had Scapula. Where's our soul heart? Um, 
If using a using a pill heals one heart, if all red hearts are full, spawns one half soul heart. Oh god damn, that seems very good. We're probably dead here though. I, I find this guy exceedingly hard to avoid. Yeah. Anyways, end that run off there. Hope you guys enjoyed nonetheless, even with my very poor play, and we'll see you guys in the next one.